What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Cage Nation. My name is Kevin Jackwitz, and we are finally wrapping up with DC Week. This is the last day of the week, and it's really been just me and a bunch of DC shirts talking about a bunch of DC shit. But it's been really fun for me, and I really hope that some of you checked out some of the trailer reactions, maybe the gameplay, whatever it was. I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun for me to do it. I've been catching up on everything, and that's basically what this week has been. Me catching up on stuff that I missed through Comic-Con. So, the last tidbit that I have is there was an interview with Jeff Johns. Apparently, Jeff Johns is still very much in the creative process for the world of DC, as it is now entitled. DCEU is not the official name of the movie franchise for Warner Brothers for DC. It is the world of DC. DC Universe is actually a paper site that they are coming up with, kind of like Netflix. Uh, so that's actually going to be pretty interesting to see what they do with that, although I have to say with their first um, show that they've previewed, Titans, I was not impressed. They're going to have to come much harder than that if they want to get subscriptions, that's my thought. But as for Jeff Johns, he has been working a lot with a lot of movies, including writing the script at this moment for the Green Lantern Corps movie. So we do know that the Green Lantern Corps is still very much on the table. And as far as I understand, it is still also slated for 2020. Um, the only thing we really know about the movie so far is that it is supposed to be called Green Lantern Corps, focusing on the entire Corps, not just Hal Jordan. Now, more than likely, they're going to have Hal Jordan in it, but they also mention of at least one more member of the main four, which would be Jon Stewart, Kyle Rayner, um, Hal Jordan, of course. So it looks like we're going to have something very cool to look at here if you're a Green Lantern fan in the near future. Now, they definitely don't want to have any ties to the original Green Lantern movie, and this is supposed to be a, a more serious, you know, Green Lantern movie, um, much with all the effects that you would get kind of like a Guardians of the Galaxy type. Which is very cool because it is set in outer space and there's a lot of things that you can do with it. There's a lot of interesting characters. But I also think that there's a lot more storyline that you can put into this movie, which I really hope they are doing. Because, let's face it, the first one sucked. So, that's all the information we have right now. I'm really hopeful because so far, with Aquaman, Shazam, uh, Wonder Woman was really good. You know, you had the in-between Justice League movie that really bombed. But I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful at this point. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the news. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed DC Week. If you haven't seen all the videos yet, go back and check them out. My name is Kevin Jackwitz. Cage Nation, out.